All right, so I've been asked a few times when I knew my career was over. And it's difficult to really pinpoint, but I remember specifically, it was actually my last appearance in minor league baseball, in professional baseball. And I remember going out there. I was in, I can't remember the, the name of the city, but I was in the AAA for the Seattle Mariners. And I had no idea where the ball was going. Coincidentally, I thought I had a great warm up. I felt good. I felt confident. And I went out there, and the first couple of pitches I felt really good about. And things just didn't go my way. And I remember, like, maybe four or five pitches feeling the uh, the slipping in the mind where I was no longer confident in myself. I knew things weren't going my way. Uh, and I knew that I didn't know how to reverse it. And that was one of the worst feelings I ever had in baseball. And, again, it was my last appearance of my career and I would never pitch on a professional baseball mound again. There was a second time when I really knew it was over. When I came home and got released by Seattle, when I came home, I did work out by myself quite a bit to try to regain that confidence myself and regain that ability to throw strikes on a consistent basis. And when the time came where I felt as though maybe it's, it's give it a go, I got a call from my agent, Scott Boris, and it was uh, the person who, who worked for Scott. He had my representative in Boris Corp because he has a big, a big agency. But the guy called me and said, listen, this is the opportunity we have for you. You fly down to Florida. You go into independent ball. Uh, you try out for, those, for a bunch of clubs down there. Someone picks you up, and then hopefully you get picked up in a little bit by um, uh, an, uh, an affiliated club. And I remember taking that phone call. And at the end of it, hanging up and thinking to myself, I have absolutely zero interest in ever doing that. And it was at that moment I realized my career was over. I had no interest. I didn't want to go do what it, what, it, what it took to be a big leaguer again. I had no interest in grinding through independent ball. I had no interest in flying down to even try out. I had no interest in get, getting picked up and then having to go through the, the craziness that is the minor leagues again. I was 27 years old, I believe, 27 or 28, and it was over. I called my agent. I called my sports psychologist. I called my parents. And I told them it, it, was, it was over for me because I just no longer enjoyed it, nor did I have the motivation to ever attempt to come back again. So those were my two moments that I knew when baseball was over. And if you're out there and you're listening and you're not sure uh, what your moments might be, you know, take it from a guy who used to play Major League Baseball for many teams, for not many teams, for the Boston Red Sox and the Minnesota Twins, minor leagues for Pittsburgh and Seattle. Take it from me. When the motivation's gone, when the enjoyment's gone, it's time to hang it up.